There are 22 waterfalls in the greater Los Angeles area, and they're all gushing with water from El Nino. We are going to try and see all 22 of them. We've come to our first turn. Take a left to go down to Paradise Falls, but look at how green this is out here. We came around the corner and you can see the water is flowing. You can see the falls down there and how green it is. We'll get down in it in a second. We made it to Paradise Falls, our first of the 22 waterfalls we will hike to. The water is flowing beautifully. It's about 70 degrees out here, a little breezy. Perfect weather after El Nino. On to the next waterfall. We are on our way into Solstice Canyon to find the waterfall. One thing cool about this hike is the uh, old house that burned down years ago. In 1982, it was a grocer's house. Everything's left for the foundation, including the pool. It's right down from the falls. We made it up to the falls, and there is much more water than in years past. We've spent the last half an hour sitting in front of this waterfall and it is a beautiful place to be and enjoy, meditate, drink some whiskey, enjoy life. We have a little toast to the waterfall. There's my whiskey. Marv's having his behind me. There it goes. Mmm. Oh, that goes well with waterfall. Until next time. This morning we are hiking to Escondido Falls, the third of our 22 waterfall hikes. And you can see the, uh, the fog behind us here. We have to go down into this trail and look for the falls. We've come to our first creek crossing and we have running water, so that's a good sign. Just hiking up to Escondido Falls. We made it to Lower Escondido Falls. And this has to be about a 30 foot waterfall. And El Nino has made it so beautiful. This is loose climbing to get to the upper falls. There Marv goes. These folks are coming up this steep section <laughs> with their dog. Just a little farther to go and you can see the falls right above those rocks. Just gorgeous. It ain't a waterfall hike without some whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. Oh boy. Whiskey always goes so fine with waterfall. We are starting our hike to La Jolla Falls and we'll see if there's any water up here. This may be the highlight of this hike. Beautiful flowers. We are pleasantly surprised that there is water in La Jolla Falls. We're going to see if we can get closer. Marv is coming down this rock chute. We are going to try and meet those people up on top by going right up there, across here, across here to that flat spot, and then up that rope. I am midpoint on the waterfall, and here Marv is ahead of me. Go ahead, my friend. There he goes. Okay. 
Here's Marv coming down. That is the creek that takes us our mile out. And the fog is coming in from the ocean and it is a beautiful, green, pleasing day. We are on our way to find Sycamore Canyon Falls. Somewhere down in all this green. For a Tuesday, it's very busy out here. But no wonder, it's so gorgeous. Beautiful field of purple flowers. I presume that this is our skinny little trail through these sunflowers. Sycamore Canyon Falls, our fifth waterfall in our 22 waterfall hike series. looking for Bonita Falls and we're heading down in these rocks. As the book said, there is no trail, total rocks that you hike through and find your own trail. This looks like a well-traveled trail of destruction. It's a Friday. And we have a lot of people hiking up to this falls. I renamed this Graffiti Falls up above Cucamonga for all the graffiti everywhere. We made it to the falls and it has to be at least 70 feet. Just amazing. More graffiti right below the falls. Why I say why. San Antonio Falls and we're at the trailhead and we're hoping for a lot of water. This hike starts out on a paved road and this is the uh, start to the hike to Mount Baldy. We can just see the falls through the trees but I want to point out that mountaintop up there is Mount Baldy 10,000 feet. This is as crowded as Yellowstone. There's the waterfall. We are going to climb around that edge and uh, go over to the bottom of the falls and check it out. Going to get right up in that falls. San Antonio Falls, beautiful. That is ice right over there. Look how thick that ice is over by Mar, right by the side of the falls. San Antonio Falls, we're having our whiskey. Here's to you. We are right off of the 39 and looking for Lewis Falls. And we're thinking this is a trail, so up we go. guess we do pass a couple of cabins. A lot of old foundations in this area. So many of these places have been burned down. But the outhouse is still here. It's made out of metal. This was the outhouse. And man, they had a deep hole down there. Right here we have a log fall. The water is falling right over that large log. It's kind of dammed up. The rains had their way with this trail. You can see a lot of lumber in the way. 
We have to get across this creek. This is one crazy trail. Lewis Falls, about a mile in from 39. Toasting to Lewis Falls with our whiskey. Here's to ya. Yeah. We are looking for Monrovia Canyon Falls this morning. I guess we have to share the trail on the way up to Monrovia Falls. They have all of these man-made dams with little waterfalls going over them. Mar found a nice place to rest up on the tree. Along the whole trail, you have these markers telling you that there's berries or there's trees or poison oak or water flowing. It's kind of nice, it's very sophisticated. You can just see the waterfall from here. So we're gonna go get in it. We're heading out to Sturdivant Falls. Thank you, Kenny. 1.8 miles. There's Marv. He still looks happy. The first part of this hike is on this uh, tar road. Man-made, but still very pretty. I found our compound. It's got about five houses in this given area. Look at this beautiful backyard. I love this saying. I wonder where they bury all the people. We're out in the middle of nowhere, and here's a little ivy path. It takes you over to our new house. In case we get lost, we have phone service out here. Another river crossing. Oma just walked across this. It could have been a rattlesnake, I swear to God. But it's just a little gopher snake. And there's no rattle on it. There's Marv picking up the snake. Always fun. Come on, give it to Omid. It's a rattlesnake. Oh, sure, now it's coming to me. We are just coming up on Sturdivant Falls. We made it to Sturdivant Falls and it is running just beautifully. Here's our toast to the falls. Oh, wow. We are in search of Millard Falls, about a mile in. This is green, but dry as a bone here. We're hoping to find any water. Hardly in the wilderness. There's an RV right here and a house right up in front of us. Here's our cutoff, Millard Falls. Half a mile, Kenny's pointing it out. There you go. This is a crazy man-made platform right here. The rocky trail. And we have a house right up there. This is the rockiest, most technical trail we've been on. We are coming around the corner in this amazing canyon and I'm hoping the waterfall is right here. We've made it to Millard Falls. It's unique, but not a lot of water. There is a giant boulder right at the top of this falls. The whole way up this wall are carabiner attachments so you can climb up to the top. We are headed to Hermit Falls today. 
one and a half, three miles round trip. We're headed over to the cutoff to Hermit Trail. And here we go. Beautiful Spanish balloon. Beautiful. We are going right down there to Hermit Falls and it is just gorgeous. This trail is amazing with all these ferns. Such a cool day, about 70 degrees. This is uh, a mile and a half below Sturtevant going down to Hermit. So you have the same type of environment, beautiful all the way. Another river crossing. What a beautiful area this is. The green, the canopy, the water. This babbling brook down here is just beautiful. We are right above Hermit Falls and there are some tree falls up here. Hermit Falls is actually several falls amongst these rocks. This is the uh, crazy trailhead for Eaton Canyon Falls. They're telling us that the falls is right on the other side of that bridge over there in that canyon. Well, this is the water coming down from Eaton Falls. A little rock scrambling here. This is right in the middle of a mighty canyon. This is some crazy scrambling to get up there. Let's see how I do. Eaton Canyon Falls. It must be spring break at Eaton Falls. We're looking for big falls, a hundred foot waterfall. Let's go see. Another <laughs> rocky trail. We're gonna do our first river crossing. I'm gonna go right across here. <laughs> We're coming around the corner and it says Big Falls Hazardous Area. That's a lot of water and it is coming from way up there. This is lower Big Falls. We're coming up on the falls. Wow, there's a lot of people up here. This is Big Falls, about a hundred feet tall. We're gonna go get down in the creek to see how far we can go up and see the waterfall, but these folks just got wet coming across the water. I'm halfway across. I've gotta figure out how to get the rest of the way. I think I'm gonna go right up over here and across there. You can see the top of Big Falls. It just comes the whole way down. We made it up into the falls, and it is running, I'll tell you that. We're about halfway up the falls. We're about as high as we're gonna get in these falls. These guys just went over that rock to get in the inside. A little too tough for us guys. We made it this far and I am happy. We're having our whiskey toast to the waterfall. Here's to you. We made it to Big Falls and it is enormous.
a hundred feet. This is only part of it. We're heading out to Deep Creek Falls on this dirt fire road. I guess we can do a little fishing in here. I hope you have your pole, Mar. This is a crazy little uh, bridge. And this is our trail over here, upstream, right? Right here. Look at this river. These falls are going to be beautiful. Wow, that is gorgeous. Well, we have to go up and find the falls now. They said you have to scramble to get to this falls. Right down there is the canyon and the creek. We're a little bit upstream, about a quarter of a mile, and this is where we came from. There's that little bridge right down there. Just gorgeous. Marv is reaching out to pet the little lizard. See his blue belly? There goes Marv looking for the trail. We have a jacuzzi right here. What do you see around the corner? Yeah, beautiful little falls. Beautiful little falls. Who knows if we'll ever get to this waterfall. That's how far we just had to scramble up. It's somewhere right up there. Marv is uh, going down to check and see if there's a trail. The falls are right up there. We have never quite been in a terrain that looks like this. He's trapped. He's trapped. He can't get up. The falls might be right around that corner, but we see no way to get over there. We're trying one other path, and then that is deep falls right there. All these pools are beautifully deep and cool. We will call this deep falls. This hike took its toll on everything. My camera screen is broken. My stick, I lost the end of my stick. We got attacked by ants. And we got attacked by killer ants. So this arrowhead, other than looking awesomely beautiful and being a scrambling trail was hell. Mm -hmm. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon and we're headed off to find Heart Rock Falls. Well, this is crazy. It looks like a tree has fallen over the trail. Fresh. Very wooded, green area. We're following along the side of this creek, and I figure that will be our waterfall water. Just a half a mile from the sheer rocks of Hidden Waterfall is this beautiful meandering trail through the forest. We are just coming up on the falls and looking for the heart. So let's see what we find. Oh, Heart Rock Falls near Lake Arrowhead. A toast to Heart Rock Falls. Today we're in search of Grotto Falls. Let's go down and see what we find. We're back in the Santa Monica Mountains for this hike. And it's very green. A lot of kids today. Must be spring break. We're coming on our first water. It's little upper falls to the Grotto Falls, about 30 feet. So much green in here. This is not your San Gabriel Mountain waterfall, but it's in the Santa Monica's and at least we have water flow. There's the little waterfall and right up there is Sandstone Peak, the highest point in the Santa Monica Mountains. We have these little purple flowers all over the trail. We're dropping down into this canyon 
Grotto Falls can't be far. There's our second waterfall. The Poison Oak Factory, right next to the trail. Enough to put me up for a month. This is near Grotto Falls and is just as beautiful as that man-made lake up by Sturtevant. Somewhere we just love to sit for hours and read a book, smoke some marijuana, drink some whiskey, whatever your like is. There Omid goes with the rope. We just came down these rocks right over here and the rope right there. We have to crawl up this. There goes Omid. I just came to the top and you have to go right down there. We made it to the grotto, to the falls. Pretty much here by ourselves right now. Oman and I are making a toast to Grotto Falls. Here we are at the base of Grotto Canyon. <laughs> This is more challenging than you'd think, but a great little place to be. We went down below the falls and we have to climb right up there. You can see that guy up there. Instead of using the rope, Omid's going to go across here. I hope you don't fall in. We are looking for Zuma Canyon Falls, and it is beautifully green in here. All these gorgeous flowers are in here. I guess this is where we turn in to find Newton Canyon Falls. We are above Newton Canyon Falls, about a 30-foot waterfall. We'll have to go down and see it from the bottom. We made it down to Zuma Newton Falls. Looking at Omid, this is about 25 feet or so. Here's a toast to Newton Falls. We're right on Highway 2 and we turn down in here to go to Cooper Canyon Falls. We have to start down this tar road to get to the campground to get to the trailhead, making this hike probably more like five miles. For whatever reason, I did not bring a map today. We've been to this waterfalls before, pretty cavalier. Hopefully we won't get lost. Our first little creek crossing. We finally reached the trail and we're headed to the waterfall. A little bit of rock in here, very pretty. Marv, I think we're coming up on a bear behind these rocks, climbing on this, oh no, I hear him. Oh shit, run! We came around this corner and wow, it gets craggy over here down into the waterfall. Still beautiful, always beautiful. We've hooked up with a second creek and we're on this little cliff here with the rocks on our side. We've come across the pine cone graveyard. There's a little squirrel counting them up there. We've made it to the Pacific Coast Trail and there's Cooper Canyon Trail which takes us to the waterfall. We found the top of Cooper Canyon Falls. We'll get down in there now. Wow, is this beautiful from the top. Come around this corner and you can see the falls in the background. 
To get the rest of the way down, we have to take this rope. How's the rope holding up? Is it strong? We made it to Cooper Canyon Falls and it is flowing so strongly this year. What a great day. Amazing whiskey and the beautiful falls. Marv and I are coming back from Cooper Falls. We come across this little side trail. Where in the heck does that go, Marv? I can't imagine. You want to yeah. take it? Yeah, let's take it, man. Let's go. And the way that canyon drops off, there could be a waterfall down there. We're hiking down this side trail. It sounds like there's a falls down here, but let's go see. We came down the side trail and found this beautiful pool between these rocks and probably a 7,500 foot waterfall if we could just get down there. This is the uh, backside of that 100 foot waterfall and a beautiful pool. And that's where you can see it goes down a long way. Marv is headed down and this is some uh, sidestepping, but we can see the waterfall from here. We don't know what the name of this waterfall is. It's off the, it's off a side trail from Cooper Canyon Falls. This is as magnificent as Cooper Canyon. Unbelievable. So worth it to scramble down these rocks to get to this waterfall. It wasn't even in my book. It has to be at least a hundred feet. We're not to the bottom yet. There's Marv. Look at the color of this water. This is awesome. Woo! What a waterfall. Marv has to go straight up that hill to get to the top. We're using roots to hold on to to get us up this sheer face. <laughs> This morning we are off to find Trail Canyon Falls. We have been here before but want to see what uh, El Nino has done to it. And you can see there are a lot of people here today. We're right above Tahunga Canyon on this fire road on our way to the trailhead. I guess we're on the right track. It says waterfall this way. We've made it to the rattlesnake warning so all is good. We have been here in years past and it's been dry. So we have quite a bit of water flowing. Should be a nice waterfall today. We have a house along the trail. We haven't really come to the trailhead yet. We almost got screwed up again this time. There's a trail over here. But we are supposed to go up this trail right here. We finally hit the trail. That's Mount Lucan over there. Right down there is where we came from. We came across that trail right there. We're coming to our first creek crossing. We're heading up out of the creek. That's where we came from. We're almost up to the plateau and you can see how far below us the creek is. We just came around the corner and there is the waterfall. Can't wait to get down in there. We came upon this little piece of paradise. Here goes Omid across the pole. He made it. We are right above the waterfall. You can see folks down at the bottom. We were sitting right over there. That's the rim. It is solid rock. It would be amazing to come here on a rainy day and see all this water funneling through here. There's where we're going down where those people are. This is the trail that takes you down to the bottom of the waterfall. What a beautiful waterfall this is.
some nice hiker put this rope on the tree. It wasn't here before, but it sure helps you get down this craggy part. We're coming around to the bottom of the falls. It sounds packed with people down here. Trail Canyon Falls. Looks like a field of dreams in here. We're off to see Schweitzer Falls today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 21st of our 22 waterfall hikes and here we go. See how the water's flowing. Let's go, Schweitzer Falls. There's a couple of nice fellows. At the beginning of this hike, you have to go through Schweitzer Campground to get to the trailhead. Right down there is the trailhead. Well, here we are again in a dilemma. Go to the right or go to the left? I think it's to the left. Right beside the creek, you have a tar path. Boy, the sign is barely holding on. Look at it down there. And then look, God is good. And this, if you can see it through the graffiti, Schweitzer Falls and the bullet holes. You sure there's a trail down there, Kenny? Our eighth creek crossing. We're not sure what we're looking for, but we think that this might be the falls. It surely is something. I am right at the top of the falls and there are people down at the bottom, but we can't tell how in the heck they got down there. I think this is Upper Schweitzer Falls. There's Kenny and Omid. Right there is the chute down to uh, Schweitzer Falls. Well, this fine hiker in front of us got us on the right trail now. We have to go up before we cut to the left. This is always so beautiful right in here where the canyon opens up. Here's where you take your left. That trail takes you to JPL, but right now it's closed because the trail has been uh, El nino out of existence. This is a little bit like the Grand Canyon here, a sheer cliff. You come around. Wow. Finally, we know for sure that we're going in the right direction. Schweitzer Falls. I guess one of us has to go up this cliff because that's where the sign goes. A little rocky in here leading up to the falls. How did an old straight six get out here at the base of Schweitzer Falls? Another toast to the falls. Schweitzer Falls. Oh, that's good. It is honestly hard to take this all in. It's so beautiful out here. You can hear the waterfall below and these mountains and the blue sky. We are off to see Temescal Waterfall. One mile from here, off we go. Look at the beautiful flowers out here. The first part of this hike we have cabins next to us and we are on a tar road. We made it to the trailhead and it's pretty green in here. Beautiful flowers in here. It does look like a little lagoon down in there. Unfortunately the, there is no water. Beautiful trail. We're coming up on the bridge above the waterfall. Temescal Falls. Omid, can you see the falls, the yeah. Temescal okay. Trickle? Wow. What a sad way to finish our 22 waterfall series with Temescal Trickle. There's hardly any water. When it's raining, it must be a nice falls to see. There's Omid caressing the flowers. 
How beautiful these are. Gorgeous out here on the trail. Thank you.